Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be breaking down some cool music videos here. We're going to show you how to do this easy effect. The drawing does take a bit of time, but in my opinion, it's actually very easy to pull this off in terms of the steps you have to take. So not only are we going to show you how to do something like this, where it goes from normal footage to this painted freeze frame like that, there's also a few other ways that we can dive into this. For example, taking your freeze frame and tracking it in the scene like that shot right there. Let's go and watch that back one more time. By the way, this is Aries conversation. Link to this will be down below. So we'll show you how to do that. We'll talk about some easier methods to apply this to your scene. And if you guys really want to dive into this, instead of just making this a freeze frame that you're tracked or having in the scene, you can turn this into full blown animation, such as like an ASAP Rocky JD, where you have this kind of hand drawn, painted looking effect. What I love about this, there's so many different styles. You don't have to have a painted style, oil painted. You can use any sort of brush. You can use any sort of texture. So let's dive right into it. As always, if you guys do enjoy, please consider subscribing. Leave a like on the video for the algorithm. It helps me a huge amount. Comment what you'd like to see next. And if you guys are looking for any presets, packs, or plugins, check out my website link down below. Like I mentioned, I use this method to create some of the animations that is in my animation extension window here. For example, this right here, using the exact same method. And you can get these all on my website. So we're gonna start off with just the easy freeze frames. We're gonna use Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Premiere. So if you are going to be tracking your freeze frame onto your clip, you're gonna wanna use a clip where the subject, so for example, this statue is staying pretty still, but the camera is moving. That way it won't be too difficult to track. So pay attention to the footage that you are using. I got this clip from pexels.com, link down below if you want to follow along or try a different clip. Once you have your footage, step number one is always to take a screenshot. So to do that in Adobe Premiere, you just click this little button right here, export frame. We'll find the frame that we wanna paint and we'll click that. And then I already created a folder for where I'm saving these. So you can create your own folder, name it if you'd like. Go ahead and open up Adobe Photoshop. And we want to make a new project here the exact same size as our video so this is 1920 by 1080 you can change your resolution here so we're going to hop in here and this is the screenshot now i do want to mention for this aries video there is an alternate way to do this you don't have to do it in photoshop you could actually print out that frame instead of instead of screenshotting it you can paint over it physically and then you can scan that and bring it back in. It's the exact same thing, except you're doing it physically, if you guys prefer that. The way I'm gonna show you is just using Photoshop, and one thing that's really gonna help is if you have one of these Wacom tablets or any sort of drawing tablet, um, so that you're not using a mouse, because trying to paint with a mouse is really difficult. You don't have to have any painting skills. I'm not that good at drawing. So step number one, you wanna click Control, Alt, Shift, K on your keyboard. That's the shortcut to open up the shortcut menu. And then you wanna to go to shortcuts for tools right here. You want to find the foreground color picker and background color picker. So for me, I hotkeyed that to the P key and then I hotkeyed my background color picker to O. You guys can choose any keys. That's just gonna make it a lot easier so we're not having to click and change things while we're painting. So now if I click P, I can select any of the colors on this frame. So if I wanna pick the highlights here, I can click that, click enter and then start drawing. So now we need our brush and this is where you choose the style of how you want your painting to be. So if you click B, that automatically brings up your brush tool here. It's giving us this X because we need to create a new layer. So in the bottom right here, just click this little plus sign and that'll create a new layer over top of our screenshot. And now we can start drawing over top of that. So again, click B to bring up your brush and let's go to the top left and select a brush. I really like some of these defaults that come within Photoshop. If you go under wet media brushes, you should have this Kyle Ultimate Ink Box Pack. If you don't have that, I should have a download down below to where you can pick that up for free. You can choose if you want it to be paint style, ink, oils, chalk, whatever it is. So choose your material here. I really like going with Kyle's Real Oils 01 and that's under wet media brushes and then control alt mouse wheel to zoom in here. And then I'm gonna to switch to my tablet here and start drawing. It's very simple. You don't have to have much drawing skills. You just zoom in here. You click your shortcut to select your foreground. So again, for me, it's P. Start with the highlight on the face here and then we'll do the shadow on the face. So we click, you click enter, bracket keys on your keyboard to make that bigger or smaller and you just start drawing. So the cool thing about the real oils here is they actually blend together. So if we zoom in here, and then let's try and add the shadow. So we'll click P, get that darker color. And you'll see if I kind of overlap here, these will blend together like real oil paints. It's up to you on how in depth you wanna get. You don't have to go crazy with it, but just try and pay attention to how the light is affecting this. And again, I have really low drawing ability. I'm not good at drawing in Photoshop in real life, but ultimately all you need to do is pay attention to what's on your screen already and just draw over it in the exact same color, but in this oil paint style. All 
All right, so once you guys have completed your drawing here, you can take a look at the layers on my right just to see the structure. This is with the screenshot on, so you can see it over top. This is with it off, so this is just the layer that we painted over. That's what it looks like. And then this background layer, you can always hide that so that you have this transparency here. So once your screen looks like mine, you have just your paint layer showing and then nothing underneath. You wanna go up to File, Save As, and save this as a PNG. So we'll pop over to PNG and I'll name that tutorial. So back in Adobe Premiere, you wanna line up that freeze frame with the drawing that you save from Photoshop. So just go ahead and open up that folder and then drag in the PNG with the transparent background of the drawing. And if you drag this in a video layer above in the exact spot, you'll be able to see what we were able to do just using Photoshop. Pretty cool just for creating your freeze frames. If you did pick a random frame in here, you'll wanna overlay that wherever. Let me show you some quick variations. So if you place this here and you play the video, you're gonna kind of get this displacement map looking effect where it's sort of sliding away. Because I did this on the first frame of my video, I'm gonna have to reverse this so that it'll play video and then go into our painted freeze frame. So let's first use our arrow keys and move over one frame and click Control K to make a cut here. And then with this first frame here that we took our screenshot of, we're gonna right click on it and we're going to add a frame hold and then drag that out. And if it's still playing, just try it again. Sometimes it doesn't do it on the first try. So right click, add frame hold, and that should be frozen. And you can drag out the duration. So you've frozen the very first clip here. Let's go ahead and grab our screenshot and overlay that. We have a frozen screenshot of our painted clip and you can change the duration for both of those. So now what you wanna do, again, if you did it on the first clip like me, I right click, speed duration, reverse the speed, and then we'll take these two and end it here now that it's reversed. So it should play a little bit because now we reversed it and go into the freeze frame. Alternatively, if you don't wanna do all the reversing, again, just pick a frame that's in the middle here, but that's how we can go into normal footage into that painted frame, just like in that Aries conversation video. Now, another thing you can do, take the painted layer and drag the duration out a little bit. So you're gonna have it go from normal footage, painted over top, to just paint it. So you kind of have this little background removal, which is pretty interesting. Just another little alteration for you guys. It could be a nice little transition into another scene. You could also look up something like grunge texture on YouTube or film texture on YouTube. Right click and save one of these and then just drag that back into Adobe Premiere. So if you go into the effect controls in the top left of this clip, under blending mode for opacity, you can change to any of these blending modes and experiment with it. Get some different looks if you wanna have that scratchy kind of feel. That's really up to you. So we have that kind of deconstructed with our grunge texture, another little alteration. And quickly before we hop into After Effects, if you don't want this to just be a freeze frame, if you want motion in it, we go back into Photoshop, you'll see how this is one layer. To create an animation, you wanna keep creating layers here here, starting them after the other, and then painting over more frames of the video so that you can create a moving animation. I'm going to leave a tutorial down below where I go more into creating these animations in Photoshop because it is a bit of a process because you really can build on this if you want that full-blown animation. Like this clip that I showed you before, that ASAP Rocky JD music video where it's completely all paint animated. All right, so we're going to grab this video and start from scratch within After Effects. So I'll right click on this clip and we're going to click replace with After Effects composition to bring that into After Effects. So in After Effects, just like in Premiere, we'll drag in the painted frame that we made. So I'll just drag that into here. You see it's already lined up and we want this to stick to the actual statue. So if I press play, you'll see how it just sort of floats away. Let's set up a little track here so that it'll stay with the statue. Let's hide the painted layer for now. So we'll just hide the visibility. So now we can right click on our footage here, track and stabilize and then track camera. And then we'll let After Effects do its thing, get all the tracking information and then we'll link it. All right, so After Effects tracked this very fast and you see all the tracking data we have. Because this footage is pretty smooth, there's not too much going on, not too much motion, and that's what you're looking for. So hover your mouse over these tracking points and find a nice central area with your bullseye. You want to right click and click Create Solid and Camera. So now we have our camera here, which has our tracking information, as you can see with these keyframes. And we have the solid, which we can link our footage to. So I'm gonna scale that up a tiny bit and let's open up the transform options and we'll just change around the orientation to make sure that's kind of pointing at me. If I press play here, this square should be completely stuck to our statue. So that looks good, that's a nice track. Now we just need to replace this ugly square with our painting. So we'll hide the track solid, and then for our tutorial statue, 
We're gonna go ahead and take this parent and link and we're gonna put it on track solid one. We need to make this a 3D object. So click toggle switches and modes until you see these little switches. So at the bottom here, and for this 3D cube switch, you want to enable that for your painted layer. And it may change the positioning of it because we switched around things, track things. Go ahead and open up your transform again and just click reset. And you'll see now it's linked with our track solid, but it's still not perfect. It's still kind of over in the head area, but it is tracked properly. So what we need to do is just scale this up and change your anchor point. So not your position, but your anchor point here. Change that and try and overlay that over top of your footage. All right, so I made some easy little adjustments there just with my anchor point and the corners here with the scaling so that it's looking back to normal. And now if you press play, you're gonna see this is tracked onto our statue easy as that just using a bit of after effects tracking so that's awesome the only thing that you need to worry about here is there is a little bit of perspective change if there's some turning with the camera where the subject is showing different perspectives it may get a little bit offset you can see that in the hand there but it is sort of hard to see all in all super awesome effect you can do some really cool stuff by hand painting in any different style that you'd like and then applying these different techniques to it to get some different looks for your videos now before we end this tutorial i am going to mention one last thing and that is is a faster way to do this tracking without having to do all the adjustments and do the tracking in After Effects. That's by using this free AI software called EBSynth. And I've made a full tutorial about this. So I'm just gonna leave that link down below and you can follow those steps if you'd like. Other than that, you guys can color correct this. You can apply any different effects to it. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting and I'll see you guys in the next one.